Hi, everyone. I want to tell you about an event that's going to take place in Toronto on July 18th at 7.30 p.m. It's going to be held at the Canada Christian College, 50 Gervais Drive in Toronto. The event is entitled Bill C-16, One Year Later, Sex, Ideology and Compelled Speech in Canada. And here, here's the background detail. Bill C-16 has incorporated gender identity and expression into Canadian human rights law and the criminal code within a broader policy context predicated on the idea that gender is solely a social construct. The effect is rippling through the social world, affecting schools, universities, the healthcare systems, the law, and journalism. What implications does this have for free speech? What punitive measures can and does the law impose on those who violate its provisions? There is no scientific evidence that supports the idea that gender and sex and biology and sexual proclivity vary independently, but that position is now instantiated into Canadian law. The following four panelists will discuss these issues and more. Lindsay Shepard. Lindsay rose to prominence after staff at Wilfrid Laurier University subjected her to a disciplinary hearing for showing a video discussing Bill C-16 to her students while she was serving as a teaching assistant. That produced the biggest scandal in Canadian university history and very little evidence, by the way, that Wilfrid Laurier University learned its lesson. She will be speaking at this event about the tactics and effects of trans activism on university campuses. Barbara Kay will also speak. She's a teacher, author, and an influential columnist for the Canadian newspaper, The National Post. She will be speaking on the impact suppression of free speech is having on journalism, illustrating with the personal experiences she and others have had in the areas of Indigenous correctness. She was fired as a regular contributor to a CBC radio show for incorrect remarks made elsewhere. She will speak about the phenomenon known in Arabic as Ketman, defined by one scholar as the position taken by those who desire to be at one with others in order not to be alone. Dr. Deborah So will speak as well. She holds a PhD from York University and writes about the science and politics of sex and culture. Dr. So is a columnist for Playboy.com and The Globe and Mail. Her writing has been widely featured in such publications as Harper's, The Wall Street Journal, and The LA Times. She will be discussing the science of gender, what makes someone feel female or male, and why gender ideology, which denies the influence of biology, is harmful. As she states, the common belief nowadays is that gender is a spectrum and that sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression are unrelated. This is not what the scientific research indicates. Jared Brown rounds out the panel. He's lead counsel at Brown Litigation, aiding his clients in matters relating to commercial and employment disputes, breaches of contract, shareholder disputes, and collection of accounts. Last year, he spoke to the Canadian Senate about the dangers of Bill C-16. Jared will be speaking about the legal aspects of C-16, including its legislation of compelled speech, the opinions of Canadian and U.S. courts regarding such speech, and his experience of the subterfuge and dishonesty of the proponents of the legislation. In his words, the politicking behind the scenes of my appearance at the Senate made it clear that the intention of the proponents was to control speech all along. Serena Singh will moderate Serena is an ex-social worker and an emerging political and social commentator. She organized the largest discussion on free speech ever held in Canada on November 11th, 2017, as well as this one year later event. I'm really interested in this gathering. I'm going to try to make it at least to attend and listen, although I'm coming back from London that day and if there's any delays, I won't be able to manage it. But I would strongly encourage everyone who can manage it to go and listen to these panelists. It's an important discussion, and uh, it should be an extraordinarily interesting event. Thanks for your attention. Bye-bye.